Health workers in South Sudan have carried out the world's first large-scale vaccination campaign to control an outbreak of hepatitis E. Hepatitis E is the most common cause of acute viral hepatitis. It is transmitted through faecally contaminated food and water. Large-scale outbreaks often occur in overcrowded areas with poor access to water and sanitation, such as in displaced persons camps. Each year, an estimated 20 million people are infected with hepatitis E, with more than 3.3 million cases and 44,000 deaths. There is no specific treatment for the disease, which has a fatality rate of up to 25% among pregnant women, and increases the risk of spontaneous abortions and stillbirths. MSF teams have been confronted to outbreaks of hepatitis C since more than 20 years. The particularity of the outbreak of hepatitis C is a very low onset. In most of the times, you identify an outbreak when you have a peak of mortality in your maternity. So you see people getting sick and dying, and you don't have a treatment. Benchu Displaced Persons Camp in South Sudan is home to more than 112,000 people. In July 2021, a new outbreak of hepatitis E started. Since then, MSF has seen 759 patients with confirmed hepatitis E, 17 of whom have died. The outbreak came as unprecedented flooding and mass influxes of newly displaced people worsened already deplorable living conditions. This led to the development of waterborne diseases, including hepatitis E. The Ministry of Health of South Sudan asked MSF to help it in its efforts to control the outbreak through the joint implementation of a large-scale vaccination campaign. Hecolin is the world's first and only approved vaccine for hepatitis E. This is the first time it has been used in response to a public health emergency. Approximately 25,000 people have received the vaccine so far, including pregnant women. The first two rounds were carried out in March and April 2022. The third and final round is scheduled for October 2022. Despite uh, the policy to use the vaccine in outbreak settings, including in pregnant women, the vaccine has not been used to mitigate uh, the consequences of the disease in an outbreak setting. So it is a very exciting development now that this vaccine is actually used in the context to respond to an ongoing outbreak. The successful implementation of the hepatitis E vaccine in Benchu is a major milestone. It proves that with the leadership of health authorities, solid logistical support and technical expertise, it is possible to use the vaccine for outbreak response, even under difficult conditions. MSF hopes the campaign will encourage other countries to use the vaccine as part of measures to control outbreaks of hepatitis E, alongside treating patients, health promotion and improving water and sanitation. The experience of the hepatitis E vaccination campaign in Benchu raises hopes in the fight against a disease that is particularly fatal for pregnant women.